Hey guys, and Clerk 557. Uh, we're going to be moving this old Buick out behind the house. That is one tough old car. It's running without a radiator at the moment, by the way. He'll go behind the house that, that far without overheating. That <laughs> thing sounds beast without muffler, though. And if you notice on passenger rear side, it's running a donut because the tire that I had for it, I got to air it up every two weeks. So normally that'd be fine, but being this is not totally mobile. I can't air it up every two weeks. So I went with a donut that's holding there perfectly. And as you can see we have ruts in the road so the car won't go across. So my dad's backing it down the hill so you can get a straight shot up. So the ruts aren't that bad that way. Sorry for the shaky bit, I'm walking while I'm doing this and I don't have any of them fancy contraptions. But that's a bit for now. I'll show you that Escort that I've been robbing parts off of because it's out here too. Okay guys, this is that 85 Escort I've been robbing parts off of. See, I got the fender off, the bumper's basically off. Uh, I've robbed a tire because bolt pattern was different but the tire was the right size so I just had it mounted. Um, you can see I still haven't got this fender off or the bumper off. Um, this was a carbureted car, but the it got rolled over. Ah, the lady that owned it didn't put oil back in it, so it locked up. And you can see it's gone pretty much to hell since then. Rats have moved in and everything. Thanks. Uh, it was a nice car. You can see on the roof a little bit, it's caved in from the rollover. Um, what? Yeah, I had new glass put in it, my dad says. But yeah. Um, this isn't the only car I've been robbing parts out of. My brother's got that 87 Escort that he bought this one because he wrecked out the 87 so he bought this one so he could put the motor in it <sighs> heavy hole heavy hood anyways um he bought to put the engine in it but 87 was fuel injected and this year was carbureted so he had to do a lot of work to put it in right got the, car, the thing tore the engine tore out of the other car before he figured that out but yeah Oh, and here's, if I can get it dug up. Uh, I'll just toss it out here on the road. The uh, fender off the Buick. And as you can see, the front end of it, oops, get the lens cap out of the way, is pretty caved in right there at the top. Right in here. Yeah, it could have been fixed easy enough, but I didn't really feel like it. Because, I mean, it bowed it here, bent it here, tore out this support, and bent the back, back here, at the back end of the fender. You can see it kind of bent it there. Um, part of that also was for me, uh, I'm trying to get the fender off the car. So that was like see, I'm 17 now, so I would have been like 13 when I tore this off. So, didn't know too much about cars. Still don't, but you know, way she goes. Thanks for watching.